February 14th. Pastor is saying to us, result-oriented prayer. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Hebrews chapter 5, verse 7 of the New Living Translation. While Jesus was here on earth, he offered prayers and pleadings with a loud cry and tears to the one who could deliver him out of death. And God heard his prayers because of his reverence for God. The Lord Jesus is the perfect example of one who prayed result-oriented prayers. His prayers produced the right results always. He didn't pray merely out of routine or as a religious obligation. His disciples noticed this about him. They were intrigued by how effectual his prayers were. Hence, they said to him, Master, teach us to pray. Luke chapter 11 verse 1. The astounding results that Jesus had while he walked the earth can't be divorced from his ever amazing prayer life. In Mark chapter 1 verse 35, the Bible tells us, And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. In another instance, the Bible says, He withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. Luke chapter 5 verse 16. Luke also showed us that sometimes Jesus went into the high hills to spend the entire night in prayer to God. Luke chapter 6 verse 12. He has such an effective prayer life and ever amazing results. That's the way it should be for us. Spend time to pray in tongues often. Have a robust prayer schedule and discipline yourself to stick with it. And you'll find yourself operating at a new level of spiritual maturity and efficiency. You will make tremendous progress and experience great success in all your affairs. Recall what Jude chapter 1 verse 20 of the Amplified Classic says, But you, beloved, build yourself up, founded on your most holy faith. Make progress, rise like an edifice higher and higher, praying in the Holy Spirit. Pray in the power and inspiration of the Holy Spirit will help you make remarkable progress and cause you to rise like an edifice, higher and higher. The more you pray in tongues, the more sensitive you are to the Spirit, to receive and follow His guidance. And with His guidance, you operate in dominion and triumph always. Hallelujah. Please say this confession with me. I'm victorious in all circumstances. Walking in the blessings of the Lord. Because I live in the authority of the word. And in the name of Jesus. I proclaim the favor of God. And dominion of righteousness over all men. Nations and their leaders. In Jesus name. Amen. For further study, please read Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, John chapter 15, verse 7, and John chapter 15, verse 16. For the one year Bible reading plan, please read Mark chapter 1, verses 1 to 20, and Leviticus chapter 6 to 7. For the two year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 14, verses 11 to 21, and Genesis chapter 45. of reality.